All right, so you've got water quality and you're working on it. Here's what you do. You uh, have a link here to the videos. Watch these videos right here because they're going to take you step by step through what you need to do to get this done. Because uh, you want to get it done and get your water quality learning in. You got the getting started and uh, this video will help you. But what you're going to see is that uh, you've got graphing the data is one part. And that's number two. And I've got videos that show you how to do all that. And you get to practice. And you're going to love spreadsheets and making graphs that way. It's so cool. It does a lot of the work for you. But step 3A, learn what the data means. That's what I want to show you uh, right now. So if we go to the task, uh, it gives you a description. But it says use the graphic organizer. There was some confusion about where is it. You go to assignment and you click on open in Google Classroom. As always, it's going to generate the document. And I'm calling it a graphic organizer because I put the, the questions into tables to organize your notes. So there it is. It generated water quality research. So there's a question over here and a space to write your answer uh, right next to it. And you're going to describe each parameter, like dissolved oxygen, pH, temperature, turbidity, and flow rate. Now, where do you learn that? Uh, you could go searching yourself, but don't bother. That'll take you forever. Two ways you can get that information. One way is right here. See, I scrolled down, and, you know, I know there's a lot to read there, but read it all because I put the instructions there to help you figure out what to do. Uh, but I'm jumping down here so you can see that it says use the following websites to read for yourself. So if you click on that, you can see I've got a whole bunch of links for websites on pH, dissolved oxygen, temperature, turbidity, flow rate. And there's other ones. If you're interested in learning more, you know, maybe this could be a career choice for you. You get to be a scientist and work out in the field so you're not stuck in an office all day sitting down. Uh, some of these links don't work, so just click on uh, as many of them as you want because some might be easier for you to understand. Other, if it's too hard, close that tab and try another link. Now, if it's still too hard and you scroll down here, I've got myself recorded uh, teaching it to you. It's also on the playlist here. The last bunch of videos, you've got flow rate, turbidity, stream temperature, dissolved oxygen, and pH. N notice those videos are long. So if you want to read it yourself, you might do it a lot faster than me. But those videos, you can always skip ahead, get the main idea, and then once you write it on here, you're good to go. So in this box, you're just going to write a description of each uh, parameter. In this box, you're going to focus on how does each parameter affect Chimicum Creek. So for example, dissolved oxygen, the more dissolved oxygen we have, the more fish can survive. Uh, the dissolved oxygen gets too low, the benthic macroinvertebrates will be fine, the fish not so much. Same thing with temperature. Temperature is so important. The temperature gets too high, it'll really mess with fish. Or if it gets really cold, that's just fine. It's great for fish, especially for the salmon eggs. And then you've got here, how is your parameter measured? Now, the questions here are really important. You're going to graph the data, look at all the numbers. you got to know what they mean. This is where you take notes on what numbers are good, what numbers are eh, okay, and what numbers are too low. You know, at what point is the turbidity so high that fish can't survive? And then how does the parameter affect fish, humans, vegetation? Yeah, there's five parameters, so you're going to be writing a bunch there. But these notes are going to help you complete the next part of this so that when you finish, you'll be able to uh, turn it in and do your final post. That's what I'm looking for is, what did you learn? What can you say about Chimicum Creek? All right, good luck. And if you have questions, 
message me on Classcraft because that's where I can help you.